Hello guys, welcome to a new section on our SAP. In this section, we are going to discuss about interceptor in SAP. Using an interceptor, you can inspect, modify and manipulate HTTP requests and responses. Here are some common security testing cases you can check using interceptor. Authentication testing, authorization bypass, input validation testing, security header testing, business logic flaws, session management issues, file upload testing, and finally, API security testing. So, I will demonstrate on SAP how to do that. So, take the SAP, and I am going to manually explore one application. Okay, so I am taking the, paste the URL in manual explore menu, and taking the application, and I capture in the each request or SAP, then after that, I will perform the intercepting action. Okay. So let it wait. Okay, then I am going to log in with the username and password. Start testing and password, password totally on login. okay here now i am going to done here there is no interception in request right it will it will working as you no know, as usual so now i am going to enable interceptor or breakpoint you can see a green color icon here this is a breakpoint so when you click on this it change to red color so when you click on any page or any uh, any button it will break that point that means intercept and we can control the action before it sent to the server so i am clicking on this so it's changed to red color that means it's set for break okay so i am clicking on the application now and suppose i taking home page you can see it is loading but it's not loading the page right so when you go to the sap you can see here the pre previously it is in grayed out mode that means disable mode but it is now enabled if you click on this bike is icon this or this button this means submit and step to next request or response okay suppose click on this it's then submit the request and continue to next breakpoint so both buttons are contain the submit buttons but it is in two different modes one is in subsequent re response to go and the this button should go to the next breakpoint okay so you can see here it is break so if you want to change any values here you can change here and click on continue so it's it is should be sent to the server so now you can see the page still it's not loaded completely so it's step by step going okay okay and if you click on this then it's go to the next breakpoint so it's this page will load completely so now i just click on home page right so i second button i'm going to click submit and continue next to breakpoint so it's completed so you can see the page is loaded okay home page is loaded okay so this uh, if you enable this again i enable the breakpoint and click on logout so you can see it's also break break every action if you set this it will break every action okay now it's completed You can see it is in complete mode okay once it's completed you can see these bo both buttons should be in disable mode okay suppose i again click enable set the breakpoint and click on login button okay so you can see now it's it's and again its breakpoint is enabled so i am going to show another scenario Okay, we can wait okay load the page so i again uh, took up the 
breakpoint and try to lock in okay and click on this button so you can see over here the value is captured or the breakpoint under break tap you can see the values are captured you can maybe you can modify the values the token values or the username you can change this value into admin okay admin before before submitting to this the server so username you can change here and change to sand testing and password you can change okay then click on continue then it will this value will be passing on to the server okay you can see that means and testing is passing and it is an invalid user credential that's why it's not logged in okay likely you can check this feature intercepted feature in your application and check you can manipulate your content before taking to the server okay and another option you can specifically mention any particular area of your application how it's again i will tell you can we can consider the same that means how to specifically break one page how to do that so we can go to the application and suppose this is the login request right so i am need to add the breakpoint for this login page so right click and you can see a option break click on that in that you can see the url and url is login page url is there and click on save so now this page is as set for breakpoint okay suppose i click on home page it will not break because we not set breakpoint for that page about page it will load again suppose i click on login page you can see the breakpoint is enabled okay so you can see the buttons are enabled and you can move forward okay then then you can pass the username user and give the credential sand testing and pass one two three click on one two and click on login button you can see here also the breakpoint is enabled because we enable the breakpoint for this particular page okay so i can change the cookie or the id token value or this value i am changing now i change to user and the password change to one two three and i am this is the passing to the server okay so what will be the response we can check yes it is logged in okay so likely you can perform this on your application and coming to the web application you can check modify login credential and test authentication security change cookie session tokens to check session management alter form submission to bypass client side validation checking so you can check this on interceptor uh, feature to check these features and coming to the api you can capture the uh, api request on postman if i am already done how to capture the postman request to into the sap and you can modify using uh, the script that means the interceptor you can intercept the request before take that pass into the server so you can modify the ap token this and that is gp method etc and perform this interception actions okay so then finally testing business logic flows that means coming to the example e-commerce site you can change the payment request parameter into zero by inserting the request and change the value into zero and pass that into server in order to get the responses properly handled or not okay then alter the order id in e-commerce platform to access another user data so the these actions and you can perform using interceptor interceptor the, the request in sap and perform checking okay so this is all about today's section hope you enjoy this section thank you for watching bye